Women are entitled to share in the privileges of citizenship. If we have to obey the law, we want a voice in the making of that law. If we pay taxes, we want a voice in saying how that tax money is spent. If we are interested in politics, we want full liberty of thought and action. In short, we want a voice in the form of that most sacred possession, a vote. Women, take the matter up. It may seem we are putting ourselves in a position of antagonism towards the other sex. Nothing is further from our thoughts. Our strong conviction is that until a true and perfect equality is recognised between men and women, the highest happiness cannot exist. But this will never be accomplished while one sex assumes superiority and accords to the other tacitly, if not openly, inferiority. Women, take the matter up. We are tired of having the sphere doled out to us and being told anything outside that sphere is unwomanly. We want to be natural just for a change. We want to be treated as ordinary human beings with feelings, thoughts, desires, and aspirations, all requiring opportunities for self-development. We must be ourselves at all risks. So let women learn, forever learn, forward, forever forward. Women, take the matter up. Convictionality rules us with a rod of iron. The social ostracism endured by women who dare to step out of the ordinary ruts to earn an income amounts to cruelty. It also seems to have become an accepted axiom that a woman should be paid less for doing a thing than a man should. How manifestly unfair to have two rates of pay for the same work merely because one of the workers is a woman. Women, take the matter up. I quote one clause of the electoral bill in full. Person includes female. This infers that up to 1892, a woman wasn't a person in the eyes of the law so she must have been a thing. Now things are possessed and owned, so naturally, those who found her useful as such oppose giving her the franchise. For the moment a thing ceases to be subservient, it ceases to be useful. Woman, take the matter up. Women's suffrage has undergone the treatment usually accorded to great reforms, those which appeal to the principles of justice and equity rather than to self-interest. We have encountered fierce opposition, gross misrepresentation and despicable trickery. Ridicule and insult have been freely heaped upon women who dared to ask to be counted as citizens. We have suffered numerous defeats, but each battle loss has given us a larger army. Woman, take the matter up. The fundamental truth is that men and women are all members of one body. If one half is artificially cramped, the other half must suffer. But when restrictions are removed, the action of each part 
will benefit all others. Break down the barriers that come between you and your right to stand inside of the law, equal in every way to your brother. Women, take the matter up. The news is being flashed far and wide. Civic freedom has been granted to the women of New Zealand. Do not think that your single vote does not matter much. The rain that refreshes the parched earth is made up of single drops. For all that separates, whether of race, class, creed or sex, is inhuman and must be overcome. Women, take the matter up.